Hey everybody, welcome to our first music theory lesson. Today we're going to be talking about the major scale and how it's made up of half and whole steps. Uh, before we get too much into that, let's just play it on piano so you can hear it and see what it looks like as well on piano if you have a keyboard at home. All right, here we go. This is the C major scale. This is my C right here. I'm going to use my thumb. It's underneath this black key, okay? Underneath the two black keys. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. So I'm sure that sounds familiar to you. That is the C major scale. We played the G major scale in band, which we'll get to in a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is to sing along with the scale, okay? This is important to get the sound of the scale in your ear so you know if you're playing the right notes or not. Um, and also if you're in tune, if you're playing an instrument like violin or clarinet or trumpet or trombone, where the piano is automatically in tune as long as you're hitting the right key. That's not always the case with those other instruments, okay? So we're going to start off right here on the note C, then we're going to go to D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then back down C. I'm not a great singer. You don't have to be a great singer. As long as those notes are in your ear and you know what they sound like, that's the most important part. If you want to be a great singer, then yeah, work on a little bit more, I guess. Um, so now we're going to talk about how this is arranged into half and whole steps. You might be like, what, what does that even mean? How are you talking about half and whole notes? No, I'm not talking about half and whole notes, okay? Um, so we all know that this right here, well, quick review. The lines are, take a second and think about it yourself. The lines are E, G, B, D, and F. Every good burger deserves fries, right? And the spaces are F, A, C, and E. Now this little line down here is what's known as a ledger line, and this is C. If you count down from this line here, this E, E, D, C, okay? So we've got C to D. Now that is what is known as a whole step, and it sounds like this. And sing along with that. C, D, C, D, okay? And then we go from D to E, also a whole step. D, E, D, E. And then after that, we encounter our first half step. And that is E to F. And you might say, well, shouldn't it be like E to F sharp, or I'm sorry, E to F flat, or E to E sharp, if it's only a half step? It's E to F, isn't that still a whole step? There are two places in the musical alphabet that um, a half step, there's only a half step between two letters, okay? Those two places are E to F, and we'll encounter it later on when we go from B to C. I'm not entirely sure of the reason behind that, but basically that's what you need to know is that between E and F and B and C, it's only a half step, not a whole step, okay? So now we're on E. E, F. So sing that one and hear, hear the difference there. There's only a little bit of room between those two. E, F. Compared to C to D. C, D, C. So hopefully you can hear the difference between those two. And we go F, G, 
also a whole step. G A, also a whole step. A B, also a whole step. But then remember, our B to our C is a half step. B C, okay. And it goes the same way the way back down, it's just in reverse order. C to B. C, B, half step. B, A, whole step. A, G, whole step. G, F, whole step. F, E, half step. So I have the order written here. Uh, I know it might be a little bit hard to see, it might be a little bit small. Um, but hopefully that's starting to make sense. There are two places where there are half steps in the major scale. That is between the third and fourth note, the E to the F. So you got the third note and the fourth note. E to F is a half step. And then between the seventh note and the eighth note. And the eighth note you'll see is just a higher version of the same note that you start on, okay? That's called an octave, when it's the same note, but it's higher or lower, okay? So between the seventh note, which is B, and the last note, which is C, is also a half step, okay? So we're going to take that same concept and apply it to the scale that we used in band, okay? So that is the G major scale, or if you were playing um, clarinet or trumpet, we would say the A major scale. But we're going to talk in what's called concert key right now, and uh, that's you know, piano, violin, guitar, uh, trombone, they all play in what's called concert key. Um, so this is our G major scale. If you'll notice, the pattern of half and whole steps is exactly the same. Even though the note names are different, the pattern of half to whole steps is exactly the same. C, G. All right, we've got a whole step first. Well, yep, yeah, that's right. Uh, then we've got another whole step. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Got a half step, good, all right. Got a whole step, yep, yeah, good. Got another whole step, yep, yeah, good. Got another whole step, yep. Yeah. Half step, yes. Well, amazing. And then going back down the scale is the same thing, okay? So I'm going to play the G scale first, and then we'll have our little sing-along, okay? So actually where I have it written is up here. I'm not going to sing it up here when we get to singing it because that's too high for me, but where I have it written is up here. You notice I go to a black key for F sharp. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Okay? I'm going to sing it down here because that's where my voice likes it. So now let's go through the whole steps and half steps one more time just so you can all see this. All right, here we go. G to A, sing along with that. G, A, G, that's a whole step. A, B, A, that's another whole step. B, C, remember 
that's the other place where we have a half step from B to C. Third note to fourth note, very good. C to D is a whole step. D to E is another whole step. E to F sharp is another whole step. And F sharp to G is another whole step. Sorry, no, that's not a whole step. That's a half step, half step. G down to F sharp is a half step. F sharp to E is a whole step. E down to D is a whole step. D down to C is a whole step. C down to B is a half step. B down to A is a whole step. A down to G is a whole step. All right, so remember, our half steps are between the third and fourth note and the seventh and last note. Okay? I hope this was helpful. We're going to go on in our next lesson, we're going to talk about different intervals and how to make up chords from this major scale. We're going to be using the same major scales, and we'll be talking about intervals like C to E, what's that called, or C to G, what's that called, and how to make up chords with that, okay? I hope you learned something. Watch it again. If not, if something doesn't make sense, feel free to leave questions or comments or whatever in the comment section, okay? Awesome. Good job, guys. See you soon.